Uh, so how did it feel to be back out there on Sunday, and how do you think you performed? Uh, Sunday, it felt great, you know, just to be back out with the guys. We worked all spring and summer long and throughout fall camp just to get ready for the moment and get ready for that game on Sunday and it's in the show. And I feel like we have a lot more to show. For you to have a full off season to actually work out and, and not rehab and actually work on, on getting bigger and stronger, could you feel that in the game on Sunday? Uh, you know, you, everybody's big and strong at this level, so it's kind of like you need your strength, but you need your technique as well. But I did feel a, a change in my body, just putting, putting on weight, getting stronger, and just getting, preparing my body the way I needed to for this, this season coming up. Bringing back basically everybody on the line, adding a guy like Dylan. Just how do you feel about the chemistry? I mean, you kind of feel like you had a head start coming into the preseason just with that unit. Uh, I feel like with our unit, it's like our chemistry is great. We just like you know we just build it together, just being one by one, you know, as an offensive line, which you should be. It's five for one, so nobody's bigger than bigger than the other person. I just think uh, just the people we had came back really helped as well, just the maturity. How's it been getting getting some snaps, some reps at center? Uh, what's that like? And, and have you had you ever snapped before previously to this? Uh, it's fun. I, I snapped a little bit my freshman year when I was playing scout team, so it's like it's kind of new, but it's not that new as much. But playing center, you just you know, it takes a lot. You got to know everything. You got to just. Be really smart when you play that position. And I think, it, for me, taking snaps at center is just uh, making sure I'm ready for anything that happens with the offensive line. With, with as much as you all bring back, I know Babion came into the game, you have a guy like Dante and Brady on the bench with a bunch of experience. How do you feel about the depth of this unit, knowing that if guys go down, you kind of have guys ready to come in? I mean, as you saw in the game, it, you pretty much didn't look like nothing changed with the whole line. So it's just, you know, Coach Atkins does a great thing, and I'll say as a online unit, we did a great time, like preparing. Just he helps, just coaches up, to be ready for anything. Because you never know when your name's gonna be called, you never know when your moment is gonna uh, come, and whenever that comes, you gotta either perform or next man up. You talked about Coach Atkins. It had been a number of years before you got here since kind of FSU had had the same offensive line coach in back-to-back -back years. Just that continuity, how much did that help coming into the year and now coming into the season? Uh, well, you know, as a team, you want to have continuity. If, you, if you're if you a whole bunch of individuals on the team, then it's a selfish team. Like, everybody's trying to make a place for themselves without worrying about what the next person needs to do is not take care of their job. So I feel like, like I said, this – the spring, summer, fall camp, we just built together as a team, together as an offensive line, together, and we just became more tight. With you and Robert, I mean, technically y'all are both younger guys, but with the experience y'all got last year, and you know, what's it like? You kind of talk about y'all's relationship, just being in the tackle spot. Uh, me and Rob, you know, we we both beat off of each other. Like, I'll let him know what's going on, and he'll let me know what's going on. Like, it's a learn, like I learned from him, he learned from me, and we just put our two things together and just go from there. Like I, I feel like Rob, Rob's a great person just in general, like a great old lineman, like, and he has a bright future. What do you think you guys did well uh, as a collective unit, not just the offensive line, but the entire offense, to, to have success on the ground and run the ball pretty consistently uh, last week? Um, I feel like it was just our determination and our just willpower. Like we just we came out, we gave effort, and we were hitting them in the mouth, and we just kept that fight in us. It, it just didn't matter if we was down by 18, down by nothing. Like it's, you got to come with that same energy every play, no matter what. The confidence y'all came into the season, kind of showing the, the progress, the growth in that first game. How important now is it to carry it over and kind of do what you're supposed to do Saturday? It all starts in the offseason. Just working towards to get into that point. Like you can't come in the game confident if you know you didn't work for what you were preparing for. And then the importance of carrying it forward into this weekend now. Uh, this weekend now, you know, it's just same preparation. Jacksonville State, a good team. We can't come out there slacking, so you know we just gotta come out, play our game, and play to a maximum level. I feel like we'll be fine. What's the confidence level of the overall team after the game set up here? Do you feel like it's higher than it was uh, going into the opener? I mean, our confidence level 
level of saying. We, we was confident coming into the game. Like, you, you don't go into a game expecting to lose, think you're going to lose. Like, and, you know, I feel like just now as a team, like, yeah, you don't want to lose. And trust me, there's no more victories, but we got to just keep pushing forward. Like, like, that loss was a bad one. Like, it, I would say bad. It was like, it, was, it hurt. Just the, you feel me, just fighting back and just giving our all and coming up short. But you know, you win some, you lose some, it's about our response and how we come back to the, to the following week. You mentioned, uh, you know, sticking with every play and sticking with each play, even when you were down 18 points. You know, the fact that y'all did that and you saw uh, the results, how can that kind of help y'all stick with that mindset next time if you find yourself trailing in the game? Uh, we got to stick, stay together. <laughs> As an O-line, I'll say one of the things I think you probably heard from Dylan about the little fist pump, like that just helps us, like knowing that every single play your brother has your back, no matter what, if you mess up last play or not, like that's just one of the things that as a, I feel like as a group that we're just building.